Good evening and welcome along to another quiz night and happy new year to you. The first one, the first live one of 2023. I hope you're well tonight and uh, if you're playing along, please do say hello in the comments so I know you're there. Uh, I think there's only seven or eight people, in fact 11 people now watching, so uh, get yourself involved. If you're brand new to this, all you have to do is click subscribe on the quiz to play. It doesn't cost you any money in case you're worried that by pressing subscribe I'm going to empty your bank account. It doesn't work like that. Sadly for me. <laughs> uh, it doesn't cost a thing. You don't get any spam in your inbox. Nothing like that. It just means that uh, you can actually play the quiz. That's all it means. Uh, so please do get in touch. Uh, Evan Muirhead's on. Uh, hi, Evan. Thanks a lot for taking part tonight. And uh, we'll get we'll tell you more about it if you've not played before as we go on. Uh, we'll start the quiz in a few minutes' time. Uh, give everyone a chance to get themselves in, subscribed and involved. Now, if you're wondering how to play, all you've got to do is hit subscribe. It takes 60 seconds if you're a brand new player uh, before you can actually comment and the comments box the chat box on the quiz is what you need to play because uh, that's how you answer the questions it's completely live and completely interactive so as you answer each question multiple choice the computer will tell you at the end uh, who answered correctly or incorrectly and who was quickest and at the end of the quiz, we'll find out who the winner is. So it's, it's all good fun. Who we got on then? Grant Thompson. Evening, Grant. Uh, Grant's one of our prolific players who is doing pretty well on the old leaderboard. We'll show you that in a few seconds' time. Uh, Tracy Daly. Happy New Year, Tracy. And Happy New Year to everyone she's saying there. Uh, Ian Fleming on tonight as well. We've got Margaret. We've got Jay Daly on as well. That's uh, uh, Tracy's son. So good to see you on tonight. Jay, thanks for playing. Uh, Callum Wilson's back on. Callum says, Afternoon. Afternoon. It's evening where I am, Callum, but I'll go with that. Afternoon, Callum, wherever you are. Uh, James Thompson's on tonight as well. Stuart Wilson's on. Hi, Stuart. Thanks for taking part tonight. Uh, David Black. Hi, and Happy New Year. Same to yourself, David. And uh, we've got uh, my old man on there tonight as well. So, evening all. If you're just joining us tonight, please do get in touch. Uh, tell us who you are, where you are, all that type of stuff. We'll start the quiz in a few minutes' time. First of all, for the existing players or anyone new to the quiz, let me tell you that there's a competition going on here as well because at the end of the month of January, uh, I'm going to award a prize to the overall winner of the month's quizzes. Now, we're three in so far, uh, but still time to take part, so don't worry too much about that. But let's see the leaderboard so far, shall we, and see how you're doing. So you'll see that Grant is a pretty decent player on this one. He's out in front, but only by three points just now. Uh, or two points, actually. 113 points. Uh, Craig is in second. Margaret third. And also in the Century Club is James Thompson as well in fourth place with 105. Uh, three winners so far. That's Grant and Craig Thompson and also David Black, who won the Boxing Night Special. So uh, Christmas is definitely uh, one of uh, David's strong subjects. <laughs> uh, Alex Harkin in there as well. We've also got Callum Wilson in ninth place. Ian Fleming, who's playing tonight on 10th. Uh, Amy Lang on 11. Megan Risk, 12. Donna McLean, 13. Gordon, 14. Uh, the Williamson family, who are playing against Andy, who's in the same family. <laughs> um, they're just in front. Andy's second bottom there. And Hazel's bottom on 15 points. Uh, so that's how we're looking so far with the leaderboards. But like I said, still plenty of time and there is a prize up for grabs for the uh, the winning quiz player on the last game of the month, which will be on the 31st of January. So without further ado, let's get into the quiz tonight. It's going to be five categories, as we always have, 50 questions all told and all on various different subjects. So let's see what the categories are tonight, shall we? We'll start off with 10 potluck questions, then we'll have 2022. We can't have a quiz in January without looking back at the old year. So 10 questions on 2022 coming your way. Then we'll have a picture quiz, which is on movies. So 10 pictures to watch out for. And as I always say at this part of the quiz, if you're playing along on a small device, a small screen, it's best to try and get yourself onto the TV and play on your phone or uh, something a bit bigger, a tablet, so you can see the pictures a bit better for the picture quiz. Uh, then 10 questions on music and we'll finish off tonight with a sports quiz. So 50 questions all in all. So if you're ready, I think we've got about 15 players on at the moment, which is all good. 
Uh, we'll start the countdown running and get the uh, the quiz underway in just a few seconds time. Now you're commenting one, two, three or four on each of the answers that pop up in the comments on the chat. That's how you answer the questions. Uh, do it nice and quick. If you've got a nice quick broadband connection, this will be a very, very easy for you. <laughs> if you've got a slow one, it might be a bit more difficult, but you can always give it a try and see how you go. So uh, once again, if you've just joined, Happy New Year to everyone. The quiz will start in about a minute's time and we're starting off with the potluck round tonight. And as I always say, um, there is prizes up for grabs at the end of the month if we get uh, enough donations in on the Buy Me A Coffee page. So if you'd like to get involved in that, and thanks to everyone who has so far, it's on the screen there just now, just have a wee look. And if you'd like to donate a pound towards the quiz, it all helps towards the upkeep of the technology, the software, and also helps buy the prizes for the overall monthly winners as well so if you can uh, you can scan the QR code or just go to the address there it's buymeacoffee.com forward slash Dave Mac and again thanks to everybody who's done that so far on the quiz so 30 seconds till the first uh, answer pops up so time to get the, the, the glass charged uh, get the brain in gear uh, no pens or papers required just your device um, or a keyboard anything at all it can comment into the chat and then we're all good to go so 16 players, I think, on board tonight, which is not too bad. Uh, first question coming your way in 10 seconds' time. I have changed the, the software and changed things around, so hopefully this works okay tonight. We'll find out very soon, I suppose, when uh, we start to answer the questions. So if you're ready, best of luck, everybody. Here comes the first potluck question on round number one. The flag of the European Union has how many stars on it? Uh, you're commenting 1 if you think it's 16, comment 2 if you think it's 14, 3 if you think it's 12, or 4 if you think the answer is 10. The flag of the European Union has how many stars on it? Is it 1, 16, 2, 14, 3, 12, or 4, 10? 1, 2, 3, or 4 in the comments now, please. And a good mixture of answers coming in as well on this one. So definitely not 100% across the board on this question. And like I say, I've changed things around a wee bit, so hopefully the computer can pick up your um, your answers okay. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for this part. They always say if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and I've tried to fix it. Yes, it's working. Good stuff. Uh, 12 is the correct answer, and yeah, most of you got it right. Stuart was the quickest player there tonight. Uh, so Stuart Wilson, the fastest player on question one. Evan in second place there, uh, followed by James, David, and three other correct answers. So great start. Well done. Uh, 16, the most popular incorrect guess, uh, with uh, five players going for that one. Okay, question number two on the potluck general knowledge round. Who remembers Hubba Bubba Chewing Gum? That's a blast for the past. But when was Hubba Bubba Chewing Gum first introduced? One if you think it was 1984, two if you think 1980, three if you think it's 1979, or four if you think it's further back in 1972. When was Hubba Bubba Chewing Gum first introduced? One for 84, two if you think it's 80, three for 79, four for 72. Uh, hi to Alex Harkin, who's back on tonight. Great to have you back on board, Alec. Just see a comment coming through there. The comments go a million miles a minute, so um, bear with me if I miss your comment at any point tonight. But please do put other comments in apart from the answers. Uh, have a bit of chat, a bit of banter in between the questions. It's all good. It's all good fun. And it doesn't affect your answers either, so don't let that put you off. Hubba Bubba Chewing Gum. I remember the smell of that stuff from school. It was disgusting. I never liked it. Correct answer is 1979. Uh, only four correct answers. Callum Quickest that time, uh, followed by Margaret, Alex and Grant. Uh, most people going for 1972. It wasn't that far back. And only one of our Davids going for 1984. So question three. What is the currency of Poland? Is it one, the Zloty? Two, the ruble. Three, the crown. Four, the euro. The currency of Poland. One, if you think it's slotty. Two, for ruble. Three, for crown. Four, for euro. One, two, three, or four again, please. Oh, 
Okay, if you played the quiz the last two or three weeks, hopefully the sound and picture quality is better tonight. Please let me know if it is or isn't. As I mentioned earlier, I've changed some things around to hopefully give you a better experience on the quiz. So hopefully it's working for you, whatever you're watching it and whatever you're watching it on. Hopefully it's a better quality than it was before. Pity about the presenter, but I can't do much about that. Uh, Zloty, the correct answer, and uh, most of you right. Callum quickest again there, followed by Evan, Ian and Grant. They are four fastest answerers. Answerers? Is that a word? <laughs> Um, and the computer, if it comes down to a draw at the end, will uh, favour the fastest player over the course of the quiz. So it is important, if you can, to get your answers in nice and quick. Question number four. How long is the border between the United States and Canada? Is it 1, 6,525 6, miles, 2, 5,525 miles, 3, 4,525 miles, or is it four, 3,525 miles? That's a lot of miles. One, two, three, or four, what do you think? How long is the border between the United States and Canada? Okay, answers closing round about now. There we go. And we'll find out in a few seconds who's right, who's quickest. I saw a couple of answers coming in just after the time there, so let's see how this works. So, um, how long is that border? It is 5,225 miles. Uh, Stuart, the quickest on that one. Well done, Stuart. Followed by Callum, Evan and James. And most of you got that one right, which is great. Only Ian going for number one, David for three, and Grant going for number four on that question. Still on the potluck round then, as we go to question number five. There's ten potluck questions, then we're on to 2022 for the next category. Who was assassinated on the 22nd of November 1963? Was it 1. Martin Luther King, 2. Malcolm X, 3. JFK, or was it 4. Gandhi? Who was assassinated on the 22nd of November 1963? Uh, 1. If you think it's Martin Luther King, 2. For Malcolm X, uh, 3. For JFK, or 4. If you think it's Gandhi, 1, 2, 3, or 4 again in the comments, in the chat. It's one of those old standard quiz questions, but um, given the options there, it could make it a bit more tricky. Answer on the way in a few seconds. We'll see who's right and who's right in the fastest time. Okay, yep, JFK, the correct answer. Only two incorrect ones there, going for Martin Luther King, uh, David and Ian. Callum, quickest that time, followed by Stuart, Tracy and Grant. And then all the rest of the players spot on as well. Well done. It was JFK. Uh, question number six coming up for you next as we continue on the potluck questions. When was the first Harry Potter book published? When was the first Harry Potter book published? Was it 1, 2003, 2, 2001, 3, 1999, or 4, 1997? Read the, the question very carefully. Book, not film, book. I'm giving you clues here, what am I doing? When was the first Harry Potter book published? Was it 1, 2003, 2, 2001, 3, 1999, 4, 1997? Uh, hi to Hazel Phillips. I just see Hazel's name popping up there. I guess she's probably playing in between um, pulling pints in the pub once again tonight. Am I right, Hazel? You're a good multitasker, I'll give you that. If you are just watching in today, tonight and want to play, click subscribe, and within a minute you can start commenting and answering the questions, interactive and live. Uh, 1997 is the correct answer. I think a few fell into the trap of the movie. It was round about 2001, 2002, uh, but the first Harry Potter book was published in 1997. Alex, quick as that time. Well done, Alex. Uh, followed by Grant and Hazel, the only three players getting that one right. So well done to all three of you. Uh, question seven then on the potluck round. From which country does the salsa dance originate? From which country does the salsa dance originate? Is it one, Mexico, two, Cuba, three, Brazil, or four, Argentina? From which country does the salsa dance originate? Uh, one, if you think it's Mexico, two, if you think Cuba, three, if you think Brazil, or four, if you think it's Argentina. 
<laughs> Hazel Phillips says, yep, correct. She is pulling pints behind the bar in between doing quizzes. I can just see the punters all tongues hanging out desperate for a drink while she's doing the quiz. <laughs> Right, the salsa, where does it come from? One of the sexy Latin dances that you see on Strictly Come Dancing. It is from Cuba. And uh, most of you spot on as well. Stuart Quick is that time, followed by Evan, Ian and Tracy. Uh, only Callum, Jay and Alex getting that one wrong, going for uh, Mexico and Brazil, um, respectively. So there we go. So Cuba, the correct answer for question seven. Question number eight coming up next, it is the potluck round. What is the name of the dog in Tintin? This is, uh, as I call the bread and butter quiz question, this one, it pops up all the time. What is the name of the dog in Tintin? Is it one, Snowy, two, Rover, <laughs> three, Luna, four, Flakes? Does anyone still call their dog Rover? Anyone on the quiz tonight got a dog called Rover? I want to know. Uh, what's the name of the dog in Tintin? Is it one Snowy, two Rover, three Luna, four Flakes? Uh, I think going by the comments, most of you getting this one right, I think anyway. Hard to tell when they're all flying through, but I think everyone's got this one right. It could be a full house here. Let's see in a few minutes time what the computer tells us. But I think you've all got this one right, so this could be a point for everyone. And it is, yeah, well done. Certainly is. Stuart was quickest though, followed by Evan, Callum and James. But yes, Snowy is the correct answer. Not Rover. <laughs> oh dear. I could have put Shep down as a, as, as a guess. That would have been wrong as well, obviously. Right, uh, coming towards the end of the potluck round. 2022 is the next category after this one. But still on potluck, here it comes. Question number nine. Onze. I'm sure that's how you pronounce that. Onze is the French number for... 1, 11, 2, 100, 3, 10, or 4, 1. Onze is the French number for 1, 11, 2, 100, 3, 10, or is it 4, 1? Who took French at school? Who was any good at it? I took French at school. Don't know a single word. Well, actually, I do. I know how to uh, say a, a rude word to the French teacher. That's all. That's the only thing I learned in all that time. Um, I won't say that on the quiz. Onze is the French number for what? 11, 100, 10, or 1. Answer's on the way, and here it comes. Yep, 11, the correct answer. Most of you are right there. Stuart, quickest that time. Callum, Ian, and David. Uh, 100, a popular incorrect answer. Evan, Hazel, James and Tracy going for that one. And Jay thinking 10 is the correct answer. But uh, it was 11. Well done if you got that right. Final potluck question coming your way. And then we're on to questions all about last year. Which month is the, aqua is the aquamarine the birthstone of? That's bad grammar. Sorry about that. Which month is aquamarine the birthstone of? Is it 1 September... 2 March, 3 June, or 4 January. Which month is Aquamarine the birthstone of? 1 if you think it's September, 2 for March, 3 if you think it's June, 4 if you think it's January. Next up we have 10 questions on the year in review of 2022. And you'll also see a video on this channel as well. I did earlier this week uh, a quiz of the year 2022 and a question from each month of the year. And if you've done that quiz already, let me tell you, none of those questions appear in this quiz tonight. I'm not helping you at all, am I? Um, yep, yeah, March is the correct answer there. Callum, Tracy, Grant and Alex Wright. And the majority going for June there. Uh, but March, the correct answer. So well done if you got that one right. Let's see how well you remember 2022. Was it a good year for you or a bad year for you or something in between? Let's find out how much you remember of it as we give you 10 questions about what happened last year. Here comes the first one. How many prime ministers were there in 2022? Almost a bizarre question, but last year, no. Uh, how many prime ministers were there in 2022? Was it 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3 or 4, 2? You're commenting one, two, three, or four on this. 
for the option you think is the right one. Otherwise, the computer will get confused. So comment one for five, two for four, three for three, four for two. How many prime ministers in 2022? The option of 540 isn't there, which felt like that amount. Let's see who's right and who's right in the quickest time. Answers coming up in just a few seconds. And here they come. Yep, there were three. That was Boris Johnson, Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak. So three. Evan quickest there, followed by Callum, James and Tracy. Uh, Hazel and Stuart, the only two getting that one wrong, going for four. It did feel like more, to be fair. <laughs> I'll give you that. Uh, so 2022 continues and the second question on what happened last year coming up. Who did Will Smith slap at the Oscars? <laughs> Famous moment, this one from last year. Uh, who did Will Smith slap at the Oscars? Was it one, Tom Cruise, two, Denzel Washington, three, Chris Rock, or four, Adam Sandler? Who did Will Smith slap at the Oscars? Uh, one, if you think it was Tom Cruise, two, for Denzel Washington, three, for Chris Rock, four, if you think it was Adam Sandler. One, two, three, or four. I don't think he's getting invited back next year. I think he's been barred. <laughs> Probably the best bit of the night, really, wasn't it? It gets a bit boring. He made it exciting, if nothing else. Who did Will Smith slap at the Oscars? Answers coming up in a few seconds, and I think this is a full house coming up here. Let's see, it was a very well-known story, this one. All over the papers, all over social media. All over the telly. Yes, of course, it was Chris Rock. Uh, Callum Quickest, followed by Stuart, Evan and Hazel. And then every other player right. So that's brilliant. Well done. Question, uh, question 13, which is uh, question three of our 2022 round coming up next. And here it comes. In Formula One, which driver won the 2022 British Grand Prix? Was it one, Sergio Perez, two, Lewis Hamilton, three, Fernando Alonso, or four, Carlos Sainz? In Formula One, which driver won the 2022 British Grand Prix? Uh, one, if you think it was Sergio Perez, two for Lewis Hamilton, three for Fernando Alonso, four, if you think it was Carlos Sainz. One, two, three, or four again in the comments. Looking like a 50-50 split here on this one by the answers. I think three and four are what everyone's gone for. No one's gone for one or two that I can see. Although I could be wrong. I see they do go quite quickly on the chat, so it's hard to see what everyone's commenting. So I think a half and half split between three and four. It is Carlos Sainz, uh, the outsider you could see at the time. Callum was quickest that time. Hazel, Grant and Evan, plus another four players just behind on the time. Uh, Stuart James, Jay, Tracy and a couple of others going for... Fernando Alonso, nobody going for Lewis Hamilton, and rightly so, because he didn't he win. Uh, question number, <coughs> excuse me, question number 14, and here it comes. 2022 marked the 30th anniversary of which classic Disney movie? Uh, was it one, The Rescuers, two, The Little Mermaid, three, if you think it's The Lion King, or four, For Beauty and the Beast? 2022 marked the 30th anniversary of which classic Disney movie? Uh, one for The Rescuers, two for The Little Mermaid, three if you think it's The Lion King, four for Beauty and the Beast. One, two, three, or four again to pick your answer. It's a tricky one this, I think, actually. So, correct answer coming up, and it is... Yep, it is Beauty and the Beast. The Lion King was a couple of years later. It was 1994 or five, I think it was, it came out. Um, so, yeah, David and Alex, the only two getting that one right. The Lion King uh, sort of got you into the trap there, and most of you went with that as the, uh, the answer, which was not correct. It is Beauty and the Beast. So, next up on 2022 is this... Who did Novak Djokovic beat in the men's final at Wimbledon last year? Was it one, Stefanos Tsitsipas, two, Roger Federer, three, Rafael Nadal, or four, Nick Kyrgios? 
who did Novak Djokovic beat in the men's final at Wimbledon? Uh, one, Stefano Tsitsipas. Two for Roger Federer. Three for Rafa Nadal. Four for Nick Kyrgios. Uh, David says, what a guess <laughs> on that last question. You're not supposed to admit to that. Come on, you're meant to say it was skill, not a guess. But it was a good guess, I'll give you that. Novak Djokovic, who did he beat at the men's final at Wimbledon? It was a bit of a cracker of a final as well. A bit of, bit of niggle between the two players. And the correct answer? Yep, that was Nick Kyrgios. He was the, the guy who was noising everybody up in every round all the way through. Uh, Callum, James, Grant and Ian, the quickest players on that one. It wasn't fed, unfortunately, for Stuart, Evan, Tracy, Margaret and three other players. It was Nick Kyrgios. Uh, question 16 coming up. We're still on 2022. And here comes the question. Gary Brooker passed away in 2022. Which 60s group was he the lead singer of? Was it one, the Marmalade, two, the Hollies, three, the Small Faces, or four, Procol Harum? Gary Brooker passed away in 2022. Which 60s group was he lead singer of? One if you think it's the Marmalade, two for the Hollies, three for the Small Faces, four for Procol Harum. Hazel says, jammy wee, and didn't complete that sentence. Probably a good job, to be fair, Hazel. <laughs> Always good to have a guess. If you're not sure, have a guess. That's, what, that's what's good about multiple choice quizzes. One in four chance of getting them right. So, tricky one for the younger players tonight, this one. Gary Brooker. Which band was he lead singer of back in the 1960s? He passed away last year. He was lead singer of Procol Harum. So well done if you got that one right. They give us a whiter shade of pale. That was their big hit single. Uh, Grant, David, um, the other David, and Margaret, the quickest players on that question. So well done. Most of you went for the Hollies, actually, on that question. But it was Procol Harum. Uh, question 17. And we're still on 2022. Which of these towns was not made a city in 2022? Was it one, Middlesbrough, two, Dunfermline, three, Doncaster, four, Colchester? Which of these towns was not made a city in 2022? One for Middlesbrough, two for Dunfermline, three for Doncaster, four if you think it's Colchester. One, two, three or four again. Okay, there's a range of answers coming in on this one, I can see. Which one's right? One, two, three, or four. Which town was not made a city in 2022? Correct answer we're looking for was... It was Middlesbrough. Yes, Dunfermline, Doncaster and Colchester were all awarded city status from the Queen in her uh, jubilee whatever you would call that, uh, city status thing last year. Uh, Middlesbrough was not, it is still a town in Teesside. Uh, only David got that one right, one of our Davids on the ball with that one. Um, nobody going for Dunfermline. Why would you? Um, here we go, question number 18. Which long-running medical TV show aired its final episode in March 2022 after 23 years on our screens? Was it one, Holby City... Two, Doc Martin. Three, Casualty. Or four, 24 hours in A&E. <laughs> Stuart Wilson says, having a nightmare in this round. And David's guessing again and getting them right. Look at that. Carrying luck. Carrying luck. Which long-running medical TV show aired its final episode in March 2022 after 23 years on our screens? Was it one, Holby City. Two, Doc Martin. Three, Casualty. Or four is 24 hours in, in A&E. Which one is the right one? Now, I know for a fact that two of those shows ended in 2022. Uh, Holby City is the correct answer. Most actually went for Casualty. It's still going. It's still going strong and has been for a long, long time, more than 23 years. Uh, Stuart was quickest with the correct answer, uh, followed by one of our Davids, then Alec, and then Grant. Only four correct answers. Uh, Dot Martin also finished uh, last year, but it's not been going anywhere near as long, so it wasn't that one. Question number 19. Uh, the 2022 Eurovision Song Contest was held in which city? 
Was it one Turin? Was it two Rome? Three for Naples? Or four if you think it's Milan? The 2022 Eurovision Song Contest was held in which city? Uh, one for Turin, two if you think Rome, three if you think it's Naples, or four for Milan. One more question to go on 2022, and then we'll have the picture round. So this is a time where you want to make sure you're watching on something nice and big and wide so you can see the pictures properly. So we know for a fact that Eurovision was held in Italy. Four Italian cities there to pick and choose from. Well, which one is the right one? Uh, yeah, Turin is the correct answer. So well done if you got that right. Uh, Evan quickest that time, followed by Grant, Stuart and James. Uh, Naples, the guests of Callum and Ian went for Milan. Nobody going for Rome. OK, next up, we're going to have uh, question 20 and then we're going to move on to our picture rounds, which is going to be all on films. So here comes question number 20 of 50 and your last 2022 question. In which month of 2022 did Russia invade Ukraine? In which month of 2022 did Russia invade Ukraine? Uh, one if you think May is correct, two for March, uh, three for February, or four if you think it was April. In which month of 2022 did Russia invade Ukraine? Uh, one if you think May is correct, two for March, three if you think it's February, or four if you think it's April. One, two, three, or four again, please. A few different answers coming in once again for this one by the looks of it. So we'll see who's got it right quickest and how many get the right answer. In just a few seconds time, here it comes. Yep, February was the correct answer on that one. Uh, Grant quickest, followed by David, Alex and Craig. Most of you going for April. Um, but actually, it all started way back last February. Almost a year, can you believe, since that, uh, since that war started in Ukraine. OK, so that's the end of the 2022 round as we move forward now to the picture round, which is films. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you 10 stills. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some are stills, some are just sort of pictures of the cast in their costumes from various different movies. You'll have four options to pick and choose from. All we're, look all we're looking for is the correct title of each film. So again, I'll just pause the quiz for a second there. Make sure if you're watching on your phone, uh, watch it in the, um, I keep on getting this wrong, so I'll show you on my phone here. Don't watch like that, watch like that because it'll make it bigger on the screen. If you're on a big TV or a, a tablet, you should be fine. So make sure you can see the pictures and here comes the first one of our picture round. We're looking in each case just for the name of the movie. So here they come with number one on the picture round. So, that picture there, is that uh, from the movie The Day After Tomorrow? One if you think it's that, two if you think that's Independence Day, three if you think it's Deep Impact, or four if you think it's from Armageddon. So that picture you can see there on screen, is it from one The Day After Tomorrow, two Independence Day, three Deep Impact, or is it four Armageddon? One, two, three, or four again please. I think most of you have got this one right, going by the comments I see coming in. One or two here or there. So, day after tomorrow, Independence Day, Deep Impact, Armageddon, your four choices. Correct answer is, yep, yeah, it's Independence Day. Only Ian got that one wrong, actually, going for Deep Impact. Uh, Stuart the quickest on the button, followed by Hazel, then Evan, and then Callum, our four fastest players. Uh, and then everybody else uh, in behind with the correct answer. So, well done. Don't forget, the uh, the faster you can get the answer in, it might just help towards the end. If there's a draw, the computer will pick the fastest player from uh, the highest scorers as the winner. Here's your next one then. That one there, is that from 1 Extreme Prejudice? Is it from 2 Cape Fear, 3 Affliction, or 4 48 Hours? Going back a bit with this one, aren't we? Uh, number 1 ex Extreme Prejudice, 2 Cape Fear, 3 Affliction, or 4 is 48 hours. Hazel Phillips saying there that Moira helped with that quiz. 
<laughs> Moira, if you're watching, listening, uh, good to see you. Happy New Year to you. If you're at the quiz at the Bluebell on Thursday, I'll see you then. Quite a few of the, the players from uh, my regular uh, quiz pub quiz, where we do things actually in the pub on a Thursday night on the quiz tonight. Good to see you on boards. And even if you're not, great to see you on board as well. Don't forget to tell your friends and family if you're enjoying the quiz. And you can join in next Tuesday. We do this every Tuesday at 8pm UK time. Yeah, you're all spot on. Well done. Every single person right there. 48 hours it is Nick Nolte in the picture there. Uh, Stuart Quickest, followed by Hazel, Callum, uh, James, and then all the rest of our players. Great stuff. Well done. Okay, next up on the picture round, it's all about movies. We're looking simply for the movie titles from the pictures we're showing you. And here comes the next one. Right, okay, so we're going for one, Men in Black. Is it two, Made in America? Three, Independence Day is on, on there again. And four, I Am Legend. One for Men in Black, two for Made in America, three for Independence Day, or four if you think it's I Am Legend. One, two, three, or four. I think this is one of the easier ones. There's a big clue in this one, really. And it's got four legs. <laughs> this could be a full house once again, going by the comments I'm seeing coming in. I think it could be everybody getting this one right. So. I think I spoke too soon there. I just saw a wrong answer coming in. Uh, okay, here we go then. Yeah, that was David went with the wrong answer there. It's not made in America. It is in fact Will Smith there with his dog who dies in the film. I hate when dogs die in films. Um, I Am Legend. Stuart Quick is there, followed by Evan, Callum and James. If you've not seen the film, I've just given you a spoiler. Sorry about that. But the dog does die in the film. Uh, next up is question 24 of 50. And once again, we're on the movies. So another movie coming up for you, and it's that one. <laughs> this could be a tricky one. Uh, is it one, you only live twice, two, Thunderball, three, Goldfinger, four, Diamonds Are Forever? David says, numpty. Correct. Only one getting that last one wrong. So, we know it's a Bond movie, but which one? Is it one, you only live twice? Is it two, Thunderball, three, Goldfinger, or four, Diamonds Are Forever? What do you reckon here? One, two, three, or four. If you're a Bond fan, you should get this no problem at all. If you're not, you might not. It's looking good so far. I think most of you have got this one right, if not everybody. A couple of incorrect ones coming in, I can see. Okay, so, yeah, it is Goldfinger. Uh, Stuart Quickest, Evan, Alex and Callum. Um, Ian and David going for Thunderball and Diamonds Are Forever, uh, respectively there. But uh, most of you right, Goldfinger, the correct answer. So we're looking at uh, movie stills and uh, pictures from the movies. Ironically, Ian Fleming got it wrong, says Grant. Um, question 25. Okay, we're going to some animated ones now. So is this one Tangled, two Mulan, three, is it Mona or Moana? I'm not entirely sure. Or four Encanto? Double numpty, says David. <laughs> yeah, two in a row. Um, not good. Must do better, as to be said. Uh, so this one, are we looking at Tangled for one? Are we looking at Mulan for two? Uh, three for Moana, four for Encanto. Ian Fleming, before my time, obviously. I write, Ian, come on. Come on. The boyish good looks are not not cutting it here, I'm afraid, my friend. No, no, not having that. Um, right, so, we know it's Disney, we know it's animated, but which one is it of those four? It is, in fact, Encanto, uh, one of the biggest movies of last year, actually. Um, Hazel Quickest that time, James Grant and Craig, uh, Stuart Callum, Evan, Jay, and a couple of others going for, is it Mo Moana? I think it's Moana, you say it. And David going for Mulan, so, uh, yeah. Encanto, the correct answer. Number 26 of our, um, our 50 questions tonight and another movie to try and work out from the picture. It's this one. So we're looking at uh, one with Neil and I, two Scum, three Get Carter, or four A Clockwork Orange. Uh, one if you think this is with Neil and I, two for Scum, three for Get Carter, four if you think it's A Clockwork Orange. 
one, two, three, or four. <laughs> Triple numpty, says David. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, he's not he's not having a good time tonight. He's not having a good time. Okay then, answers all coming in. So it's a British movie this time, as we can guess from all of the options there to pick and choose from. And all the answers are now in, I think. Yeah, I think they're all in. And I think this has caught most of you out. Yes, With Neil and I from 1987. A uh, bit of a cult classic, they call it these days. Grant was quickest, followed by David, Ian and Jay. Uh, a Clockwork Orange was the most popular incorrect answer. It was many years earlier in the 70s. Uh, Stuart Evan, James Callum and a couple of others. And uh, Hazel, Alec, Margaret and Tracy going for Scum, which was, I think, banned actually on the TV. It was, it was too, too violent. Okay, so let's go to the Westerns next. Uh, is this one Unforgiven? Comment one if you think it's Unforgiven. Comment two for the good, the bad and the ugly. Uh, commenting three if you think it's Pale Rider or four for a fistful of dollars. So it's definitely a Western this time. Is it one, Unforgiven, two, the, uh, the Good, the Bad and the Ugly, three for Pale Rider, or four for a fistful of dollars? What do you think the answer is to this one? And I think most of you, now that they're all in, I've got this wrong, I think. I think you have. Answer on the way now, and it is. Yes, it's a fistful of dollars. It's a tricky one. They all look very, very similar, these films. Uh, only David and Ian getting that one right. Everybody else went for the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, Stuart, Callum, Evan, Hazel, and quite a few others. But it was, in fact, a fistful of dollars. So well done if you got that one right. That was a hard one. Here comes number 28 as we come towards the end of our movie picture round. And this movie right here, we're looking at one, The Avengers, two, Guardians of the Galaxy. Is it three, Black Widow? Is it four, Black Panther? So what do you reckon? Is it one, The Avengers, two, Guardians of the Galaxy, three is Black Widow, four for Black Panther? Hazel says, <laughs> you're joking. I'm not joking, Hazel. It was definitely a fistful of dollars. I double checked it. Sorry. Uh, right, okay, so what do we re reckon here? Evan Muirhead says I give up. <laughs> Don't worry, Evan. There's another another round on the way soon you might be better at. Don't panic. It's all right. We've got music after this. So if music's your thing, then that might be quite good for you. Um, right, okay, the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Black Widow or Black Panther, what do you reckon we're looking at here? It is in fact Black Panther, uh, still in the pictures right now, uh, huge in 2022. Evan, quickest that time, there you go. Back on back on your game, Evan, no problem at all. Uh, James Grant and Tracy, uh, all right, plus more players, five more players, uh, Stuart Hazel, Callum and Margaret going for Guardians of the Galaxy. So Evan uh, was right and in the fastest time, well done. Next up we have this one, uh, we're looking at Top Secret for one, The Towering Inferno for two, Die Hard three or Airplane four. One, two, three or four again in the comments. Which one do you think is right? Is it one, Top Secret, two, The Towering Inferno, three, Die Hard or four, Airplane? Okay, I think now it's closed up. There we go, I can tell you. I think most of you have got this one right, going by the comments. One or two incorrect answers I see popping in. But on the whole, pretty good. Who's right, who's wrong, who's fastest? Let's find out. Here it comes. Yep, that is in fact Airplane. Um... Stuart Quickest followed by Hazel, Callum and Tracy. Evan going for Top Secrets and David, Alex and Ian going for The Towering Inferno. Um, one of my all-time favourite films. It's stupid, but it's funny. No matter how often you watch it, still makes you laugh. If you've not seen it, you should watch it. Next up, it's the last one of the pictures and we're on to the music round. So here comes question 30 of 50. So this one here, when they're having a bit of a, a jig, is it uh, one Strictly Ballroom? Is it two Saturday Night Fever? Is it three Footloose? Or is it four, Dirty Dancing? All dancing movies and dancing in the picture. 
What could possibly go wrong here? Uh, one for Strictly Ballroom, two for Saturday Night Fever, three if you think it's Footloose, four if you're going for Dirty Dancing. One, two, three or four again, please. It's one of those ones, if you look closely at the picture, you should get it. If you're f further away, you might not get it. Not till you see who's actually in the picture, it might give you a hand. Uh, I think most of you have done well here. Let's find out. Correct answer is... Yo, you've all got it right. Well done. Dirty Dancing. And everybody's got it spot on. Hazel Quickest that time. Uh, followed by Stuart, Evan and Callum. Well done. Dirty Dancing. It is Patrick Swayze, you can see. Uh, is it Swayze? It's in, it is, isn't it? And Jennifer Grey, I think it was. No one puts baby in the corner. Next up, it's music then. Ten music questions coming your way. And here is the first one. Uh, who was the guitarist in the band... The Doors. Uh, one for Bobby, uh, Robbie Krieger. Uh, two for John Densmore. Three for Jimi Hendrix. Four if you think it's Eric Clapton. Hazel says, I like to dirty dance. We know. Hazel, we know. It's all right, we know. <laughs> David says, thank God that's done. <laughs> Onto something he knows about now, hopefully. So it's ten music questions. Who was a guitarist in the band The Doors? One if you think it's Robbie Krieger. Two if you think it's John Densmore. Three for Jimi Hendrix, or four if you think it's Eric Clapton. Which one's right? Answer on the way in a few seconds time. And the correct answer we're looking for is... It is Robbie Krieger, and uh, half and half split there between Robbie and Jimi Hendrix uh, for the answers, but David was quickest that time. James, Ian and Grant, and somebody else who's in behind on the time. Uh, Stuart J, Margaret Callum going for Jimi Hendrix The other David for John Densmore And Hazel and Alec going for Eric Clapton But it was Robbie Krieger, the correct answer Next question on music, and here it comes Which 60s girl group recorded the hit single Be My Baby? It was in Dirty Dancing as well, that song uh, One, the Shirelles Two, the Ronettes Three, the Crystals Four, the Chiffons which 60s girl group recorded the hit single Be My Baby? One if you think it's the Shirelles, two for the Ronettes, three for the Crystals, four for the Chiffons. Margaret's got sausage fingers. Getting that last one wrong. Pressing the wrong buttons. It's a common complaint on this quiz, sausage fingers. You've got to be quick, you've got to be accurate, you've got to be right. Otherwise, it all goes, all goes a bit wrong. So back to the 60s with this one. Be My Baby, classic single this one, well-known track, but who sung it? Who was the band that did the song? Correct answer was the Ronettes, and most of you got that one right as well. Hazel Quickest, followed by Evan, then Callum, and then James. Uh, David going for the Shirelles, uh, Stuart for the Crystals, Alec for the Chiffons. But most of you spot on, saying it was the Ronettes. Back in uh, 1963, that was a hit song on the charts. Next up... Uh, it's uh, music once again. Here comes the question. Who released the 1991 album Out of Time? Big album as well. Big million selling album. Was it 1 U2, 2 The Rolling Stones, 3 REM, 4 Coldplay? Who released the 1991 album Out of Time? 1 if you think U2 is correct, 2 for The Rolling Stones, 3 if you think it's REM, 4 if you think it's Coldplay. One, two, three, or four in the comments. Okay, answers all in. And I think we've got a full house on our hands here. I think we have. I think you've all got this one right. Classic album, and like I say, many millions of copies sold. You probably got one in the house yourself, or did it one time. Yes, R.E.M. Everyone bang on the money. Stuart Quickest that time, Evan, Callum and Tracy. And then everybody else in behind on the time. So well done. It was R.E.M. Question number 34 of 50 coming up next. We're still on music and we finish off tonight with a sport round. That's how we end up this evening. Here comes the next question. Which of these albums is not by The Killers? Not by The Killers. Is it one, Pressure Machine? Uh, two, Only By The Night? Three, Hot Fuss? 
four, Battle Born. Which of these albums is not by the Killers? One, the pre- one Pressure Machine. Two, Only by the Night. Three, Hot Fuss. Four, Battle Born. Not by the Killers. Which one do you think? Okay, mix of answers coming in on this one. And some of these are not well-known Killers albums either, which might make it a bit more tricky. So, which one is not by the Killers? Answers coming up, and it is... It's Only By The Night. Only Grant got that one right. Only By The Night is an album by the Kings of Leon, not by the Killers. Uh, mostly went for Battleborn. I think that was actually one of their latest albums um, in the past couple of years. Uh, most of you went with that, but only by the Knights, as I said, is by the Kings of Leon. The rest are by the Killers. So well done to Grant. Only one getting that one right. Uh, number 35 of uh, 50 Tonight, which band released songs called Rio, Girls on Film, and The Reflex? Any 80s fans should get this, no problem at all. Is it one, The Cure, two, New Order, three, Duran Duran, four, Depeche Mode? Hazel says, rubbish. <laughs> Is that your answer or my quiz, Hazel? <laughs> Hopefully it's your answer. Um, which band released songs called Rio, Girls on Film and The Reflex? Is it one, The Cure, two, New Order, three for Duran Duran, four if you think it's Depeche Mode? Hazel says, my answer. That's a relief. Um, and yes, it was rubbish. I've got to give you that. I've got to give you that. Yep, Duran Duran correct, and everybody right. Hazel's redeemed herself big time from being wrong to being right and being first. So well done. Stuart, Evan and Callum just in behind, and everybody else as well. So well done, Full House. Uh, Question 36 as we continue on the music round. And here it comes in just a few seconds. What nationality was hit DJ and music producer Avicii? What nationality was hit DJ and music producer Avicii? One if you think he was Swedish, uh, two for German, three for Dutch, or four if you think American is the correct answer. Sadly, no longer with us. What nationality was hit DJ and music producer Avicii? One for, for Swedish, two for German, three for Dutch, four for American. I think only one in a couple of incorrect answers on this one coming through now. It was looking pretty good. Then a couple of uh, dodgy ones have slipped in, I can see in the comments. Yep, he was Swedish. Hazel quickest again. Uh, Callum, Stuart and Tracy, plus uh, seven more players. Uh, Evan, Jay and Alex all going for Dutch. He was, in fact, Swedish. Um, passed away, I think, about four years ago now. Maybe, maybe more than that, actually. Time's flying on. Uh, next up, it's question 37 of our 50 tonight and we're still on the music round here it comes how many strings are there on a cello any cellists out there how many strings are there on a cello is it one eight two six three five or four four how many strings on a cello one if you think it's eight two for six three for five four 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 funnily enough which one's right Okay, answers on the way in a few seconds' time. And it is... Yep, it's four. Uh, Only Ian got that one wrong. He went for for six. Uh, For the correct answer, Hazel quickest again. She's doing well in the music round tonight. Stuart, Callum and Evan just in behind. And then uh, nine other correct answers. Well done, everybody. Apart from Ian, of course. Got that one wrong. Sorry, Ian. Naming and shaming. Question 38 of 50 coming up. 
What was the title of Ed Sheeran's first UK number one single? He's had a few, hasn't he? But which one was first? Is it one, Sing, two, Shape of You, three, Perfect, four, Castle on the Hill? What was the title of Ed Sheeran's first UK number one single? Uh, one of you think it's Sing, two for Shape of You, three for Perfect, four for Castle on the Hill. One, two, three, or four, please. Okay, most of the answers now through. And I have a feeling that nobody has got this one right. Oh, one person has. Ian got it right. Sing is actually the correct answer. That was his first number one hit. Uh, Shape of You, the most uh, popular incorrect answer, uh, followed by Perfect and Castle on the Hill with uh, three people each going for that one. But uh, yes, it was in fact Sing. That was his first UK Number one single. Ian, well done. Uh, next up, number 39, our last music question, then it's on to sport. Just Say No was a hit 80s song by the cast of which TV show? Was it one, Grange Hill, two, Emmerdale, three, EastEnders, or was it four, Casualty? Just Say No was a 80, hit 80s song by the cast of which TV show? One for Grange Hill, two for Emmerdale, three for EastEnders, four if you think it was Casualty. And because it was a cast of a TV show, it was utterly rubbish. It really was. Tracy says, Ian is Ed Sheeran daft. He must be to get that answer right, Tracy. Seriously, I mean, that was a difficult one. He was right in there with the correct answer. A secret Ed Sheeran fan. Uh, okay, just say no. Do you remember this? Yeah, it was in fact Grange Hill. It was all about drugs, an anti-drugs song uh, to go with uh, uh, storyline in the programme at that particular time. Uh, Stuart Quickest followed by Hazel, then Callum and then Evan. Everybody got that one right. Well done all. Okay, uh, one more music question, then it's on to sport. So here comes your last music question now. Uh, Ashley Roberts was a member of which group? Was it one, the Sugar Babes, two, the Pussycat Dolls, three, Eternal, or four, Destiny's Child? <laughs> Ian says, I just guessed that Ed Sheeran would be the least popular one. Yeah, right. He's got Ed Sheeran's greatest hits on his um, MP3 player on his car, hasn't he? We know he has. Ashley Roberts, a member of which group? What do you think? Sugar Babes for one, Pussycat Dolls for two, Eternal for three, Destiny's Child for four. One, two, three, or four. Now, let's be honest, nearly every woman that can sing in the world has been in the Sugar Babes at one point. For so many members, it's incredible over the years. Is it right, though? It's not right. It is, in fact, the Pussycat Dolls. Uh, Stuart Quickest, followed by Evan, Callum, James, and then eight other players. Uh, Hazel and Margaret going for the Sugar Babes. And like I said, everyone's been in that band, so wouldn't be surprised if it was right. OK, sport to finish us off tonight. Ten questions on sport, and then we'll find out who tonight's winner is going to be. Here it comes. Jurgen Klopp began his managerial career at which German club? Is it 1, Stuttgart, 2, Schalke 04, 3, Mainz 05, or 4, Borussia Dortmund? Jürgen Klopp began his managerial career at which German club? 1, if you think Stuttgart, 2, for Schalke 04, uh, 3, for Mainz 05, or 4, Borussia Dortmund? Hazel says uh, she was in their dressing room, sugar babes. I'm surprised you weren't in the Sugar Babes, uh, Hazel. Everybody else has been in them. Why not you? Jürgen Klopp. Where did he begin his managerial career? What do we think here? Stuttgart, Schalke 04, Mainz 05, Borussia Dortmund. It was, in fact... Yep, it was Mainz 05. Um, Evan, James, Callum and Craig, the fastest players there. Uh, David going for Schalke and Stuart and Jay going for Borussia Dortmund. I'm surprised nobody went for Stuttgart because that was actually, that's his hometown. And I think he actually came through the ranks as a junior, as a um, youth player at Stuttgart. But uh, 
never managed them. So, of course, uh, Mainzo 5, the correct answer. Well done. OK, here we go. With uh, which team did Michael Schumacher make his Formula 1 debut at the 1991 Belgian Grand Prix? Long time ago now. Was it 1 Mercedes, 2 Jordan, 3 Ferrari, 4 Benetton? With which team did Michael Schumacher make his Formula 1 debut at the 1991 Belgian Grand Prix? One if you think Mercedes is correct, two for Jordan, three for Ferrari, or four if you think it's Benetton. Okay, answer on the way in a few seconds' time. Michael Schumacher, the king of the sport at one time before Lewis Hamilton came along. Uh, it was, in fact, Jordan. Evan Quick is there, followed by David J and the other David. Uh, Ferrari and Benetton getting an equal five incorrect answers each on that one. No one going for Mercedes. It was, in fact, Jordan. Uh, question 43 of 50 tonight coming soon. As we come towards the end of tonight's quiz, which English football league team was given the nickname The Gas? It's a difficult one, I think, actually. Is it one Port Vale, two Leighton Orient, three Charlton Athletic, or four Bristol Rovers? Which English football league team was given the nickname The Gas? One for Port Vale, two for Leighton Orient, three for Charlton Athletic, or four if you think it's Bristol Rovers? Yeah, this is a tricky one, I think. Let's see how you got on with the answers on this one. And I'll tell you why they were called the gas as well once the answers come in. Yep, it's Bristol Rovers. Uh, most going for Leighton Orient there. Uh, they were called the gas because their old stadium, East, East, Eastville Stadium, uh, it was right next to a gas works and the big gasometers looked into the stadium. That's why they were called the gas. Don't play there anymore. It's an Ikea these days where the stadium used to be. Uh, Ian Quick is there. Grant and Alex. Uh, it was, in fact, Bristol Rovers. Well done. Next up, in which year did Roger Federer win his first Wimbledon title? Was it 1, 2005, 2, 2003, 3, 2001 or 4, 1999? In which year did Roger Federer win his first Wimbledon title? Uh, one for 2005, two for 2003, three for 2001, four for 1999. A mix of answers coming in for this one so far. But which one do you think is right? Roger Federer. I think he retired just last year, didn't he? He's been on the go a long time. One of the greatest players in the sports. A nice guy as well, which is uh, not a common thing in tennis. Uh, 2003, in fact, he's been going since. Uh, well into Ian Quickest there, followed by Grant, Alex and David. Most going for 2005 and a couple of answers for the other ones as well. Margaret going for uh, 2001. Hazel and David for 1999, but it was 2003. So well done if you got that right. Question 45 of 50 tonight. Which country won the 2019 Rugby World Cup? Was it 1 Wales, 2 South Africa, 3 New Zealand or 4 England? Which country won the 2019 Rugby World Cup? 1 if you think Wales is correct, 2 for South Africa, 3 if you think it's New Zealand... Or four, if you think, England. One, two, three, or four again, please. Now, I've got to say that all four teams there were, in fact, the uh, top four in the tournament. So that's winner, runner-up, third place, and fourth place. You've got to pick and choose from here, which makes it a bit more tricky, I think. Or does it? Let's see how you get on with the answer. It's coming up any time now. Yep, it was in fact South Africa. Most of you got it right. Callum Quickest that time, followed by Evan, then Stuart and James. Uh, David and Jay going for New Zealand. And Alex going for England. South Africa, though, the correct answer. Well done. 
down to the last five questions of the quiz tonight and they're all on sport. So here comes question number 46 of 50. Which snooker player has written crime fiction novels called Framed, Double Kiss and The Break? I love those titles. Is it one, Steve Davis, two, Stephen Hendry, three, Ronnie O'Sullivan or is it four, Dennis Taylor? Which snooker player has written crime fiction novels called Framed, Double Kiss and The Break? One if you think it's Steve Davis, two for Stephen Hendry, three for Ronnie O'Sullivan, four for Dennis Taylor. Evan Muirhead says COYB. Absolutely, Evan. 100%. Shame there was no game yesterday as well, eh? What happened yesterday? It's only minus one, surely. Just saying, I'm just saying. Saying no more. Uh, yeah, Ronnie O'Sullivan was the correct answer, so well done if you got that right. Evan Quickest that time, Jay Grant and Alex. Uh, most went with Dennis Taylor, uh, Hazel Callum, Tracy James and a couple of others. And four goings for Steve Davis on that one. But it was the Rocket, Ronnie the Rocket O'Sullivan, uh, who uh, penned those three books. And I love the titles as well. Question 47 of 50. In karate, uh, what colour belt comes right before black? Is it one yellow, two green, three brown or four blue? In karate, what colour belt comes right before black? Is it one yellow, two green, three brown, four blue? Any karate kids on the quiz tonight? Evan says Dunfermline running scared. <laughs> That's a conspiracy theory start, Evan. It really is. I'm live on a public channel. I can't say too much, but, well, yes. We'll leave that one right there. Um, okay, so which one do we think is right here? In karate, what colour belt comes right before black? Yellow, green, brown or blue? And it is, in fact, brown. Only one incorrect answer. Only Jay got that one wrong. Going for yellow, which I think is just behind brown, actually. So not too far away. Uh, Hazel quickest, then Stuart Evan, and then Callum. Brown, the correct answer. And most of you got that one right, so well done. Only three more questions to go tonight, and then we find out who tonight's winner is going to be. And with a shout, do you think? We'll see. Here comes question 48. Who was the very first BDO World Darts Champion in 1978? Was it one, Leighton Rees, two, John Lowe, three, Jockey Wilson, or four, Eric Bristow? Who was the very first BDO World Darts Champion in 1978? One, if you think it was Leighton Rees, two for John Lowe, three for Jockey Wilson, four for Eric Bristow. There should be an option five, which should be... We don't know because we couldn't see through the thick cigarette smoke up to the stage. <laughs> Remember watching darts back in the 80s in the telly? You couldn't see for the fog of cigarette reek. And everybody had a pint in their hand when they were playing. Heady days. It's changed days. Now they wear headphones. Did you see that with Gavin Price the other night? What was that all about? Um, okay, very first BDO World Darts champion was in fact Leighton Rees. He beat John Lowe in that final. So it was a, a Lowe uh, versus Rees final and it was Rees that won it. Evan was quickest there, followed by David, Craig and Ian. Uh, Stuart, Hazel and David going for John Lowe. Margaret says, sport is definitely not my 40. <laughs> Uh, okay, next up, it's question 49, penultimate question tonight. Which sports do the Oklahoma City Thunder play? Is it one, ice hockey, two, basketball, three, baseball, or four, American football? Hazel agrees, Margaret. It's not her favourite favorite subject either. We won't have sport next week, guys. Don't worry, we'll change it to something else. Sport's not there every week. You may think it is, but it's not. Which sport do the Oklahoma City Thunder play? Is it one, ice hockey, two, basketball, three, baseball, four, American football? One, two, three, or four again in the comments. Bit of a mouthful, this one. Oklahoma City Thunder. Correct answer coming up in a few seconds' time, which is... Yep, they're a basketball team, and most of you got that one right. Uh, James Quickest, followed by Craig, and then Callum, and then Ian. Evan and David going for ice hockey. Uh, Stuart, Margaret, and Hazel going for 
baseball. But again, most of you spot on. Basketball, the correct answer. One more question to come tonight. Here it comes. It's question number 50, and then we find out who has won tonight's quiz. So best of luck on the last one. Who won the Champions League in 1999? It was a famous final, this one. Was it one Manchester United, two Liverpool, three Bayern Munich, four Barcelona? Who won the Champions League in 1999? One of you think it's Manchester United, two for Liverpool, three for Bayern Munich, four for Barcelona. Marcus says, told you. She's having a nightmare on this round. A nightmare. Well, we have a round on knitting patterns next week. Will that suit you fine? Will we go with that? Yeah. Like I always say, if you fancy a round on something in particular uh, that I've not done, not done yet, let me know in the comments. We might even do that on the following week's quiz. You never know. Who won the Champions League in 1999? Answer we're looking for was... Yep, of course, it was that famous uh, Man United versus Bayern Munich final, wasn't it? Went all the, way, all the way, and it was Man United that won it, and everybody got it right. Callum, quickest on the last question, followed by Stuart, Evan and James. We'll find out in just a few seconds' time who has won the quiz. It'll pop up on the screen, and we'll see who tonight's champion is. And we'll add all your scores to the leaderboard of January so far, and then there'll be a quiz midweek to tell you who's doing what. Grant Thompson, well done, Grant. He is a master at this quiz. 43 out of 50, great score, well done. In first place tonight, Craig Thompson in second, David Black in third, on uh, both in 35, but Craig just a bit quicker on the times, uh, which is why he's in second place. Alex Harkin just behind on 33, great effort there, Alec, well done. Uh, Ian Fleming on 32 in fifth place, then it's James Thompson on 31. Callum Wilson seventh on 30 points, then it's Evan Muirhead on 29 in eighth place. Uh, same points as Tracy but Evan was quicker uh, Margaret also on 29 but Evan the quickest of those three players so that's why he's in 8th 11th place was David McIntosh then Jay Daly on 12th place um, with uh, 26 points Stuart Wilson on um, 24 Hazel Phillips also on 24 so good scores all round tonight well done thanks to everybody for playing along have you enjoyed it? I hope you have. Tell me in the comments if you did or didn't. <laughs> if you did, join me next week, same time, 8 o'clock uh, UK time for another live interactive quiz night. Arguably the most interactive quiz on YouTube as well. I'm just putting that out there. If you did like it, tell your friends and family about it. Share the link as well. It'd be great to see more people taking part. And watch out for the midweek update video on this channel as well, where I'll give you the league table. And we'll find out how you stand so far to see who's in with a chance of winning our January prize, which will go out on the last uh, Tuesday of the month which is the 31st. We'll tot up all the league table and the top player over the course of the month will walk away with a lovely prize. So, until next time, great to have your company once again. Thanks a lot for your company on the quiz. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Uh, have a great week. If you're back at work, then take it easy. We'll see you again next Tuesday for another live quiz. In the meantime, thanks for playing and bye for now.